Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. You know, I should probably do a coin switch somewhere along the line. <laughs> and, wait, wait, wait. Do you smell that? It smells like arrogance. Oh, of course, it's Ronald. Hey, Mint, come here. Be thankful I'm not really a part of Team GR. It's me, Ronald! Is that coin you have the GR Fire coin? Cool, but you'll need another coin to enter the GR Fighting Fortress. If I'm not mistaken, that coin is the GR Water coin. The GR Fighting Fortress seems to be a much larger fort than this. It's been a while since we met, though, Mint. I'm here to see if you've been getting stronger like I have been. Let's have a six prize card duel. Win, and I'll give you a cool card. So, yeah, make sure you save before the battle. It's Ronald's Power Deck. And let's see if we can beat that and get the cool card. And let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's a pretty nice starting hand, I've got to say. <laughs> I, even, I even got challenged to set up stuff for the future in case I get the Wiggly. But for now, I think I'm going to go Staryu, Abra, Seal, and see who goes first. <laughs> Not me! Oh, it's Eevee. Hmm, well, let's see if that Eevee turns into something on the next turn. I mean, he's getting a lot of draws here, so it may very well do so, but we'll see. In the meantime, I... Ooh, nice for the Abra. Uh, actually, I will play Challenge now, just to... Oh, well, I'll take two cards anyway. <laughs> Jinx and Star. Yeah, I decided to put in the Water Jinx. Uh-huh, so it looks like I'm filling up my bench for a possible future Wigglytuff anyway, and let's slap. I wonder if the AI will ever accept my challenge. Maybe when they're like low on bench Pokemon or something like that. I don't know. Oh, it did turn- oh, oh, that, that wasn't the one he evolved? Oh. So he's setting up another one for the future, I see. So regular Vaporeon here is actually not that regular of a Vaporeon. See, it's the Game Boy version of Vaporeon. And you may double your bite and bite for 30. It's a lot like Scyther, actually, if you think about it. Only with 10 less HP and it's on a basic Pokemon. And anyway, we're going to get stuff set up over here. I just dump out our hand, because I, I think you see where this is going to be going. <laughs> so here we go, just drawing seven cards casually, and there's a Jiggly. That could be, that could be game right there if I get the Wiggly. Um, I also got to start you to replace any sort of uh, KO'd Pokemon. But in the meantime, I'm just going to slap. I'm going to have a good time slapping that Eevee away, and there we go. And there's our Vaporeon, as expected. That's actually the only one that's got to deal with, but anyway. So it's going to be nibbling for 30. And... I wonder if I should do something as a stall, like plop something else out in the meantime. Like, let's do the Staryu in the meantime. Oh, energy removal. I guess I could stall a different way here. Double colorless to set you back quite a bit there. And, whoops, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Psychic, and call it a turn. So he's gonna be trying to double the- Oh shoot, I thought I could've knocked him out before he could've filled up his bench. Oh no, he's got another one, man! <laughs> oh man, you can only have four of those in your deck, so... That's like a major, major hiccup to my plan of... <laughs> well, I'll set up a slap here to get it in range of my Kadabra then. And let him knock out. Oh shoot! Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Well, I guess that's not that bad because I already got Jigglypuff in play, and maybe this will give me a Wigglytuff, but it'll kind of offset my plus power plan with the with the Kadabra there, as you might have guessed I was going for. Um, if I wouldn't have gotten this Star You, but anyway, Kadabra that will finish off the Vaporeon. Here's a star me. Yep. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're, we're we're in decent shape anyway. I mean, we, yeah. <laughs> I guess I well, yeah. I should probably do the psychic because everyone else could take water. Uh, I got another Professor Oak, but let's just super side for now because I kind of wanna 
see what's going on first before I do anything else. By the way, this is Game Boy Ditto, which replaces your typical Fossil Ditto. The Fossil Ditto is not in this game because probably it's a lot quite difficult to program because of the way that it copies everything on the field ever. So <laughs> that's probably why they replace it with this Ditto. It's got Pawn, it's got Morph, and you can swap it with a copy of a basic Pokemon card chosen at random from your deck, so it's not nearly as good as regular Ditto, so... And that may be also why they replaced regular Ditto, because it's way too powerful. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't think it's that powerful, really, but I think what what the thing about it is, is the programming is there's so many stuff to take into account. Now I got two Professor Oak. Man, what am I going to do with all these cards? <laughs> Ah, uh, but yeah, the, this Ditto is definitely inferior to the regular Ditto, so... Yeah, it's, it's got resistance to my Kadabra, but I'm not too concerned about that. It's just gonna be kind of nicking away with Pound, and then I'll just... I'll just do a recovery. I mean, do a recovery when I am feeling ready for that. Uh, actually, should I be... concerned about those? Nah, maybe not. At least not right now. So let's go ahead and power up a Jiggly. And, you know what, let's just do it. <laughs> I could very well get two more Benchers and one Wigglier. So let's see what we get. I got a Bill. That's something. Cadaver. No Wiggly. That's okay. Not even any sort of way to search it. It's still okay. I mean, we're, we're in good position, so. And, and I'll just Super Psy. Boop. And bloop. <laughs> oh, by the way, you'll notice about some of these animations, like say the Magmar smoke screen, they shorten them a little bit because you know they just—they probably were like, oh yeah, you know this is kind of annoying how long it takes this, these <laughs> these animations to go through. So they're like, okay, I'll alter that a little bit. So yeah, you might have noticed some animation changes from the first game, which I think is a benefit overall for the flow of the battles and whatnot. So. Let's see, do I still have any threat? Nah, I don't have any threat. <laughs> Let's just continue powering up Dugong then. I guess I will energy removal Eevee to slow him down even further. And then Super Psy. It'll take two of these to beat Eevee because of its resistance, but... It, it'll kind of really, really... Ooh, I was going to say really, really slow him down because he'll want to retreat probably. Uh, but that potion energy will actually be like the perfect card for the situation. It'll let him attack again, and it'll offset my uh, Kadabra's, yeah, <laughs> Kadabra's damage output. Uh, if only I had the other plus power. If only I had the plus power. But anyway, <laughs> so he still can't really do Tony damage to me, I would think, unless he's going to plus power himself. But uh, nope, nope, not going to. So what I'm going to do is take advantage of that, and behold the recovery! <laughs> and that is the power of Kadabra. Damage prediction, I guess you could say, is that when you're feeling that you're at the very brink of a knockout, or before the brink of a knockout, you can set up a recover, and oh yeah, that's right, I'm all full and get it all set up for the future, and keep Kadabra on going. So there we go, knockouts, and we got a ditto. Now I repeat, we've got a ditto, although it's a similar ditto, and oh, that might actually help me. <laughs> if I get Wigglytuff, he's gonna be so ticked, probably, because <laughs> I can switch over to that and start doing the wave. And then he's, there's no resistance to colorless Pokemon. Let's see what we got. Nope, still no Wiggly. Wonder if they're all in my prize cards. I don't know. Um, I think what I should power up next is the Star You for a Star Me. There we go. And Super Sai. I've got the plus power now. Because he's been, he's been cycling my hand around a couple of times. And then I can use that on Ditto to KO it on the next turn unknowingly to him. But if I was playing him in person, I would not say that out loud! <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna go pop that on Starmie. Plus power. And bye bye, Ditto. Surprise, mother. Never mind. 
<laughs> yeah, I gotta, gotta switch. Maybe those last two prize cards are my two wiggly top. I don't know. Probably not. Might just be getting unlucky. Ooh, plus powering. Ooh, that's a surprise. Yeah, that's actually gonna cause a little ire to my Kadabra setup, but I got a Dugong waiting in the wings, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I think Starmie Star Freeze, yeah, I can do uh, just its regular attack with two Psych if I wanted to, but I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of want to, yeah, I want to save in case of recover, because it's still gonna take me two... Yeah, well, I should say it's gonna take me a lot to knock out Tipmonchan anyway, so I, I think it'll, it'll be fine if I just leave Dugong as is, just have him take 20 damage for the turn with 80 HP, leave 60 left, and I got another plus power. A Hitmonlee may be a factor if he gets two heads, but that's that's gonna be pretty lucky if he gets that. But it could it could very well knock out Dugong, just take that into account, so... This duel may not be over yet, if he can manage to knock out my Dugong. We'll see. Recycle energy, and here... Oh, rolling kick. I guess that'll work too, but I thought he was going to go for the double kick. Well, I suppose that would be... A, well, actually, that would have been better, come to think of it, because that would have been one coin flip for the next turn of being able to knock out Dugong rather than knocking out Dugong right here, right now. So yeah, that was actually a good AI move. I didn't consider that. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm bothering with this energy removal, because I won, and, wait, 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 wait hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anything at the moment, I forgot. I forgot, I have evolved it. But yeah, I win. <laughs> Not too shabby of a duel, I've got to say. But the victory is mine. So that was Wigglytuffs, even though my hands are shuffled around, did not come to my hand whatsoever. It's 17 cards somewhere in there, not in the prize cards whatsoever either. It seems like you've gained a lot of experience fighting Team GR. Alright, a promise is a promise. Take this special card, and it's computer error. Remember this? You basically, you may draw up the five cards, but the opponent can do so, but your turn is over, so very, very risk-reward dealio. How you use that card is entirely up to you. Anyway, I'm gonna go get stronger. Fight on, Mint! Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, the Thrall defeated, GR Fire Fortress demolished, well, sort of demolished. We should go over and see the GR Fighting Fortress, because we can't enter it without two coins. Circular coin size slot under the image of a Magmar. Eh. Yay! In the image of a Psyduck. Oh. Oh. Oh man, but wait, do I still have the Magmar? Well, yes I do! How does that work? How does that work? I don't know how does that work. I mean, it's, it's clearly... It's clearly... Hold on. It's clearly... <laughs> I just had to show that at least once. <laughs> so you've got... Duplicate coins here somehow, and I'm gonna actually select that one because I only use it for one duel. And Turkey Life Size Coin, Magnemite, Thunder Coin, yes please. And we are in. They have a leaky ceiling, but we are in! <laughs> eh, that deck? You're not in Team GR either then. Wait, how would you know just from my deck? Hmm. I'd like to join Team GR, but I don't have the right cards yet. You wouldn't happen to own a Dark Blastoise level 28, would you? If you do, I could give you a Blastoise level 52 for it. Now, if you know what Blastoise this is... You probably want to do this trade. <laughs> Thank you so very much! Let's trade! Woo! Blastoise level 52! Uh-huh, it's Raindance Blastoise with an alternate artwork. Say hello to the most powerful water Pokemon that has ever existed. <laughs> I don't know if I want to really use this strategy, though, because I used it earlier in the fight versus Eren, and I also used it in the other walkthrough. I mainly focused on showing you new strategies in this walkthrough more than anything. But yeah, this is a Blastoise you want. Alright, Team GR, here I come! 
Hey, it's you! I'm well on my way to joining Team <laughs> Team GR! Thanks so much! Card, you treated me was a big help. You're welcome! I always wanted to help people join a gang, I guess. <laughs> ah, so you're a mint. You seem to be doing well. You need two coins if you'd like to enter the GR Fighting Fortress. You can't open the fortress door without the fire and water coins. It's a good tip to remember, young gun. Whoa, I must be dreaming. Hey, uh, it's me, Amy from the Water Club. Wait, what? I what are you doing here? I'm on the same mission as you. I'm a lone girl battling my way up. But I was the only person who decided to come to GR Island. Now, that's not true. There are a couple others, although that one person didn't have cards. But, ah, <laughs> uh, it's rough. So, okay, I, so now there's three people that we know of. Uh, oh, same dialogue. Okay. So we're clear. To go into here? Thank you for visiting. This is Team GR's Water Fortress. Allow me to tell you about your opponents and explain the rules. Lead their Water Fortress is a woman named Brooke. In order to fight her, you must first defeat three GR Fortress members. Who would have guessed? You learn about each member's special battle rules inside. And they've got a lot of special battle rules here. That's all. Please enjoy dueling in Team GR's Water Fortress. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Oh, 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 you're not in Team GR. I wonder what your business here is. Me? I'm Jacob, one of Team GR's Water Fortress members. I use the power of water to become one smooth dude. Eh, just kidding. <laughs> I think I've got the picture. You're mint, right? Team GR's water leader, Brooke, totally admires you, kid. What, really? Hmm. Have a card battle with me. If you win, I'll open the doors. But I have a special rule. I won't battle without using it. Yep, yeah, you already got a special rule. The only type of energy cards you may use in your deck is water energy. I'm sure you understand. If you've got it, let's battle. Yes. Wait, you need to change up your deck to conform to my rule first. You have energy in your deck right now. It isn't water energy. You get the rule now. Go on, make your changes. Okay, okay. So, our deck. For it must be undeckified. Unfortunately, for now. <laughs> That's okay! Uh, Alright, I could just actually leave that as is, and... I have, I have kind of an idea of what I could use here. I mean, I may have a lot of copies... <laughs> a lot of copies of Gyarados. <laughs> and I'm also going to set up four Magikarp for the future, because I'm going to need this special... Magikarp configuration for another room a little bit later on. So I will save that as is, and still keep it the Paralyzed deck, because I don't feel like changing the name. If you're, if you're after a brawl with Brook, you'll need to fight me first, kid. But you can only use water energy cards in your dueling deck. I'm sure you didn't forget. If you remember, let's fight. Uh, uh, what if I say no? Oh, run along then. I don't mind, kid. It's no skin off my back. And up, 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 uh, yes. Wait, you need a check. Oh, that's right, shoot! <laughs> One thing I didn't do! <laughs> is... Flopped over from the psychic. <laughs> over to the water. My bad. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Good, good. M -m 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 yes. Because I like the number four, we'll use four prize cards. My apologies! <laughs> Salt water shower deck! Here's a go! <laughs> so... Now that I got a bunch of Gyarados, I got multiple options for my evolutions. Ooh, I got really tough. And a Jigglypuff! <laughs> yes! Yes! But yeah, at least for the future. For now, let's focus on getting the Jiggly all ready to go. Jiggly shouldn't be knocked out in one turn with 60 HP, so I think we'll be good for using our Professor Oak. And the Eevee gets Eeveed. Lots of Eevee gets Eeveed. Many, many Eevees, another Professor Oak. And unfortunately, I cannot attack attack, so I'm gonna lullaby for now. And hope that Voltorb doesn't wake up to be able to attack me. <laughs> nice, nice. I will take that, I will take that. I mean, sure, he could recover it, but something. Oh, shoot, you, you, knew, you knew I was planning Jigglypuff, didn't you? <laughs> and. Woke up. That, that's okay. I shall lullaby once again. Uh, there's Seal, but yeah, I want—I don't want to dump out my Wigglytuff just yet. I mean, I, I want to—I want to keep stalling at the moment, and I can't really. Well, I guess I could stall if I uh, evolve to Wigglytuff because yeah, but I don't want to—don't want to get him any ideas to do some more plans, basically. <laughs> like you might try to offset my Wiggly, 
If you know what I- Oh, I got all of my prof- Really? <laughs> so I have to- t I can only use one Professor Oak this game because of that. Really? <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I should have used it earlier like I thought. <laughs> uh, let's see how things go. I'm in good position anyway because I got the wiggly. Gonna be doing the waving. And there's another jiggly uh, seal. So I got a pretty good do the wave coming here. Uh, I guess I should energy removal the uh, other Voltorb for now. So I'm gonna focus on KOing this one. And the lullaby. Nighty night once again, Voltorb, only by a different critter. <laughs> and that's why everyone fell asleep. They like the, the the voice is so horrible. They couldn't handle it. And then they passed out. That's what that's what really happened. That's my head cannon, and it's still sleeping. So we're gonna have water energy, and do the wave should knock out that Voltorb if my calculations are correct. -a. So let's do the wave. -a. Voila. <laughs> Alright, Eevee is up next. Got the energies, probably. Oh, hmm. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, I was gonna say, do you have any energy? Or are you thinking? Okay. <laughs> so you powered up the other Eevee instead. That's that. That's gonna get energy removal, you know? <laughs> just, just saying. And we'll do the wave by powering up with another Pokemon on the bench, upping it to 50. And Eevee is up next. Another Eevee is up next. Okay. So you're attacking this time, which I guess you could have did the last turn too, but you're attacking this time. Ooh, Bill. So I guess I got more draw cards and Professor Oak coming. Um, wait, do I wanna... I probably, yeah, I think I wanna go for Starmie, just in case something happens to my Wiggly, but I wouldn't count on it based on his setup. I mean, I energy removal so much, and then and I'm knocking out the active Pokemon which had energy to boot, so yeah, I'm just kind of... Oh, yeah, he's out of energy. I'm just kind of chipping away at everything here. Um, yeah, I win. Uh, I, I, I might as well. <laughs> just just put him off his misery. My, my deck is too powerful at the moment. <laughs> Victory! Woo! Woo, I say! Ah, yeah, unbelievable! I was defeated! Crap! <laughs> I've got to give you a booster pack. If I had it in my way, I would give you Dilly Squat! Well, he's definitely not keeping his cool anymore. <laughs> Only giving this to you because Brook gave me special orders. And I got a lost style booster pack. Let's <laughs> see so what we got here. Ooh, interesting Clefable. You can copy... And the uh, defending Pokemon's attacks, except for its energy cost. So you could say, copy Charizard's 100 Fire Spin for one energy. <laughs> no discard if you wanted to, or you may have a completely useless Clefable on hand, depending on what the opponent's Pokemon is. Like maybe they'll put out that Porygon that doesn't do anything but conversion, for instance. And then there's Minimize, which you could use to stall. Which I guess is probably your best bet if they put out Porygon. Or, you know, Switch or something like that, because, well, maybe not. The Retreat cost is too. But yeah, Clefable could be a pretty powerful little critter if you have that sort of dealio. Um, Strange Behavior could be used as a alternative to Alakazam's Damage Swap to heal other Pokemon. But it, you can only move damage counters to... Slow bro, and not around as you please. So, you're gonna. Yeah, it's only got 60 HP, and 50 HP is your max to move over to it. But you can cause paralysis if you'd like to. That's that's not too bad of an idea either, but anyway. <laughs> it's it's kind of a niche Pokemon if you're not using Alakazam, basically. Uh, that Hypno Puppet Master. Wait, 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 was that. Yeah, I don't think we've seen, or you've seen this version of Ammonite, did you? Uh, hand is gonna be face up while this Ammonite is in play, so there will be no surprises. Plus power? Oh, no, 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 I, I, I can tell you're playing that. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Yeah, I'm gonna pray, play for that and predict it, yes, and then Water Gun, so he could potentially power it up to 30, but yeah, it's 40 HP, so it's like a bench Pokemon more than anything. <laughs> um, or C, it's Water Gun, okay, yeah, that's the rest of them. Ah, I don't like it, I have to be courteous. That's another Brox orders. You, you kind of weren't courteous just a bit ago, but... I mean, you... you, you, you well, okay, maybe you were. They, may, you were reluctant to be, and you admitted it, but you were still... Your, your end result was still courteous. <laughs> Open the doors, leading to Cody. Boop. Look, we're down here. Go on quickly. I'm tired of seeing your face. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna talk to you again. You come back! So persistent. I get your vibes. Let's fight. Only fight if your deck has blue, really water type energy cards. Since this is inevitable, I'll do ya! I hope you're prepared. Nah. If you're interested in the duel, please don't speak to me. I mean, if you're not interested in the duel, please don't speak to me, kid. I got strict doors given to me by Brook to uphold. Or well, other than, you know, me not being in your face and stuff like that. But anyway, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we see what the next special requirement is for the next special duel.